Now, when I apply some compressive load, what you can see? When I apply a compressive load, at the initial application of load, the stress distribution of the entire plate and the stiffness are same. And I am assuming that the material which is used for sheet as well as the stiffness are the same okay i am not using different materials here but in practical case we are using different materials for sheet or thin plate or and the stiffness okay we have to assume uh, to derive the theory we have to assume that the material for both the stiffener and the thin plate should be same and i am applying a compressive load and at the initial at the initial part you can see at the initial application of load the distribution of stress for both the sheet and the thin plate will be same and you are aware that there will be a buckling strength or a buckling stress for the thin plate when I am applying the buckling stress for the entire assembly what happens means this thin plate will tend to buckle okay the plate will start to buckle and the stiffness will stabilize this assembly that means the stiffness will carry more amount of stress when the plate will plate buckled finally what happens when the ultimate strength of stiffener stiffener is reached the stiffener will fail finally the entire assembly will fail so we will study that can see here this entire thing is getting buckled okay but due to the presence of uh, stiffness this entire assembly can be stabilized the same case is explained here you can see we have a thin plate of thickness t and we have two hat section and this is your side view and this is your top view okay and i am applying a compressive load and we have a uniform stress distribution throughout the assembly till before buckling okay the distribution of stress is same before buckling and when the load is increased and you are aware that the sheet will be having a certain amount of buckling load okay when we are applying a buckling load to the assembly the sheet will buckle and that is this area will be buckling that is this area will be tend to buckling and it cannot carry high amount of stress so to stabilize the entire structure or the assembly the stiffness will carry high amount of load you can see here in this distribution this is the initial distribution before buckling this is the distribution after buckling you can see here this part is nothing but the portion where we have the stiffeners okay these two portions where the where the presence of stiffness are found okay we can see here the stiffness can take more amount of stress when comparing to the plate the uh, comparing the area where the plate is present okay you can see the in this case the stiffness are taking more amount of load when comparing to the plate because plate has been already buckled now to estimate the amount of stress acting throughout the plate at this stage is very very complex so to make the design simple or to make the design accurate or to make the design precise we are using a term called effective sheet width okay once again i repeat we have a assembly of plate and stiffener when i am applying a compressive load of capital p the initial distribution of stress is uniform throughout the assembly of plate and stiffener when the application of load is beyond the buckling load of the sheet the stiffener will stabilize the sheet that is the stiffener will carry more amount of stress when compared to the plate okay so this to estimate the total amount of stress we have to take the area this is the area of under the curve okay and it is very difficult to estimate the total amount of stress there are a lot of approximation and estimate result has been made by lot of scientists but 
we haven't got any accurate result that's why we are using the concept called effective sheet width you can see here the distribution of stress throughout the plate after buckling and you can see this portion and this portion is nothing but the effective width w okay so what you will do is the first point we have to understand it is used to simplify the design to simplify for the design okay and we have approximated we approximate we approximate the effective we approximate effective width that is capital w which would take which would take a uniform stress which would take a uniform stress okay so you can see here we approximated a width in such a way that this width with this width can take a uniform amount of stress okay and this stress this effective width width is approximated this is the most important point is approximated in such a way that way that the sheet strength the sheet strength will be same as the sheet strength under non uniform under non uniform stress distribution okay so what is the thing we are discussing means the we approximated a with w in such a way that this will carry a uniform stress and the stress inside the stress of this width will be equal to the stress in the uniform non uniform stress distribution of the plate that is we have a width which is carrying a uniform stress and we have to find out the value of width okay we have a width of w which is having a uniform stress and this stress should be equal to the stress inside this uniform stress distribution that is the simple case okay this is actually called the effective sheet width now we have to estimate the value of w and you are aware that sigma c is equal to k into pi square e 12 into 1 minus mu square t by b okay here instead of b i will write as 2 times w because we have two width here okay so and the value of k is minimum as 3.62 we have derived all this thing in the equation in the previous lecture and we are including effective width that's why i am including w okay we have two w's big big here 2 into w since we have two effective width here for a normal case okay and i'll include this one that is sigma c is equal to 
3.62 pi square e 12 1 minus mu square t divided by 2 times w the wall square okay and I'll assume that assume the value of Poisson's ratio is equal to 0 0.3 and now we have to find out the value of W so W will be is this experimental value this is not a theoretical value 0 0.95 into thickness into root of E by sigma C this is equation number 2 and this value is found to be not correct so we will be using one more value for W W is equal to 0 0.85 T into root of E by sigma C equation number 3 okay these are the value we are using and if the if the if for a plate when the edges three edges are simply supported and one edge is free this all case is for two edge in, in this all this case is for two edge free and two edges are simply supported okay equation two and equation three is for two edge free and two edge simply supported if we have a plate in such a way that we have three three um, support three uh, one, I'm sorry when the three edges are sub simply supported and one edge is free the value of W becomes when for three edge simply support and one edge we have W I write W1 0 0.6 T into root of E by sigma C equation number 4 ok so this is about effective sheet width and we will do some numerical problems in the next lecture so that's all about this lecture thank you for listening take care